For once, it's not cat hair. Well, hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm 44 from the Netherlands, hence the accent. And usually I have a buzz cut. Just saying. So, this is, uh, this is not my evil twin. But I do really, really like it. So yeah, I thought let's... Uh, I'm, I just got done filming uh, this look. And I thought let's just film uh, the Let's Talk makeup video of today as well. It's hot as hell out here today. And uh, I was like, I'm, I'm kind of acclimat acclimating now anyway. Let's just go for it. And one I have on my eyes is uh, Nomad Cosmetics. Because I have been playing with the Studio 54 collection. And I also pulled in the Incinita Squad. And the... Tokyo Harajuku So yeah And um, I feel really really cutesy today um, that, That's basically it So if you hear a background noise My fan is on the highest setting And I think I can cancel out a little bit of the noise But not everything So yeah uh, If that bothers you Then just skip this video And skip the video where I did the look Because you will hear the same background noise Just <sighs> This video series is based, based on Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. Her playlist is listed down in the description box, as is the community playlist that she created. My own playlist with these videos is down there. There are some other things down there. Discount down there. There are discount codes down there as well. And the products that I will mention in today's video will be listed down there too. I wanted to say as well again, but I thought let's spruce it up. Let me just open up Instagram because otherwise the video will be five hours long and you don't want that and I certainly don't want it. Oh yeah, so if I'm looking dewy, it's actually because I'm sweaty because I'm wearing the HD foundation from Catrice, which is a bit more mattifying. But you don't see it. That's, 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 yeah. Uh, let's go to something that actually... I did not realize. I have been talking about the fact that Blush Tribe is going uh, going to is going to shut down. She has shut down Blush Tribe, but I've also mentioned that she has rebrand. I want to say reformulated, but that she's going to rebrand. She has rebranded, but it took me a little while to understand that it was her. So her new brand is called Miali Beauty. I hope I pronounced that right, or is it Mayali? I want to say Mayali. If that is correct. Give me a thumbs up. If it is not correct, give me also a thumbs up. But let me know down in the comment section how I need to pronounce it. Um, yes, please. But this is the first palette that she is uh, coming out with. It is called the Yasmin. Um, and this looks so pretty. It's uh, half neutral, half colorful. Or at least I think it's well... Wait, we have one brown here. Yeah, basically one brown. So it's a colorful palette because for me the only neutrals are browns. But this is such a cute palette. She also has some duochromes in here. Oh, and can I just thank you so, so much? Because she also asked on one of her posts uh, if there were um, beauty gurus. Not that I consider myself a guru, but just for lack of a better word, YouTubers, that uh, you guys wanted to see review this palette. And I got tagged so much. And that was... That was so cool. So thank you so, so much. Um, I, uh, if I am not picked to review it uh, for PR, I am going to purchase this. Because this looks very, very pretty. Very pretty indeed. I don't really know when it is coming though. Yes, let's next go to Menagerie Cosmetics. I lost my train of thought. The train was going quicker than I am. I'm too slow in this heat, but guys. <laughs> 25 degrees I can handle. Everything above that, I'm like, I want a pool. And I don't have a pool. But yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go next to Menagerie Cosmetics. I kind of want to give a little bit of a side note here. Because she... Um, I It was on her Instagram, I think, last week. The Instagram stories that she's not shipping outside of the US because of all the shipping hassle. I don't know if she is uh, still just shipping in the US. I get it. I'm very sad about it, but I do get it. And I do know that if you ship with DHL, DHL uh, does nicely go and deliver stuff. It's USPS that's giving a uh, the problem. However, uh, DHL is, I think, $35 uh, dollars to ship. And USPS is cheaper. So I get why she said that she would not uh, ship outside of the US, the US anytime soon. I get it. 
but it's very very sad so yeah uh, but she is coming out with new lippies and here you see a swatch of the new lippy shade which are animal cookie cherry moya hyacinth and hungry eyes that animal cookie shade it's so so pretty i have her leo here which is also very pretty it is not my most comfortable liquid lipstick formula but it is okay it's not overly drying uh it's a very matte one so yeah the formula is okay uh i'm not hating it at all but yeah it's kind of mute for me because i cannot order this but i do really really like especially the shade animal cookie and the shade cherry moya is also a very pretty is it a dusty pink i never know i never know i know But it's very pretty as well. So yeah, let me know if you are excited. Uh, let's next go to Wicked Sister Cosmetics. Because this is a picture of their Hocus Pocus palette. I love the movie Hocus Pocus so, so much. Uh, I also love the outside of the uh, of the palette. It, it looks like the book that... Um, I think she's called Millicent, right? Yeah, that she is holding. I just, I just love that. The inside, the color story looks really, really pretty as well. There do seem to be at least two press glitters in here. It's launching July the 1st. Uh, it's called the I put a spell on you and now you're mine. I think no. No. It's, I think it's called Hocus Pocus. Wicked Sisters. I don't know. Uh, it looks to have at least two pressed glitters in here. But the color story does look really, really fun, guys. So yeah. Let me know down below what you think of it. Let me know if you have ever tried Wicked Sisters Cosmetics. I haven't as of yet. Uh, but I do really like their aesthetic. And yeah, this seems like a very, very fun palette. And you know, guys, Halloween all year round, you know, it saves you a lot of dusting. Take it from me. I need some water. Okay, let's next go to VE Cosmetics. Because this is a sneak peek of their Alchemist 2 palette. It is dropping soon. And that is all I know now. Um, oh, there are 12 duochrome shades with some sound advice. Um, and the, the message is, seek out the truth, trust your own power, love is the key. And she has done that in uh, a few of her... I actually don't know if she has done that in all of her palettes. So she basically has a sentence and every shade is a word. So these are 12 duochrome shades. I'm very, very excited. I have two of her eyeshadow palettes and the blush palette. Uh, I have the Vixen. Where's the Vixen? Oh yeah, behind me. I have the Vixen palette, which is amazing. I have the Grimoire palette, which is amazing. Uh, if I have room underneath the cards, I will link both um, videos down. D did I do a playlist from VE Cosmetics? If I did not, I will create one. I will just put the playlist from VE Cosmetics that I did with their products underneath the cards. That will save me a few cards. So yeah, but I'm very curious to see what the inside looks like. If I have a picture of the inside by the time I'm done editing... You will see it, otherwise you will just see a black and white picture. And we will probably talk about it again next week. So yeah. You know what kind of bums me out? I actually just removed the post from an indie brand. Um, because they sell mink lashes. And it was also just a sneak peek of a palette. But oh lord guys, I would wish you that you would stop selling mink lashes. <sighs> Do you know how cute mink, i uh, mink is? He's so so cute. But yeah, um, it's... No. Let's next go then to uh, Voldemorphy, as some of my friends are uh, naming the brand. I kind of like the name, but I do also kind of like this release. This is the collaboration between Morphe and Maddie Ziegler. It is available now on Morphe.com, Select Morphe Stores, Sephora Canada and the official Selfridges. Uh, launching date for Ulta is the 28th. Yes, so I think that's Monday, yeah. Uh, Mecca Maxima the 30th. Then uh, the 2nd of July, it's coming to Pretty Little Thing, Cult Beauty, Boots UK, TheMakeupSpot.nl, Cloud 10 Beauty and Feel Unique. However, I can order from Morphe. If you live here, Morphe has a European site. So yeah, uh, I don't really know who Maddie Ziegler is. I, I know she has 13.6 million followers on Instagram. And that she posts pictures of herself, her dog, her family, her... her So yeah, I don't I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. Uh, I know she's very excited, and this looks very fun actually. This looks like a cute palette. The picture that I have here looks very cute. Um, let's see if I have different pictures. Yeah, it still looks cute. 
When I saw this, I did not think it was Morphe. Just because of the way it looks, the embossing that they have in the eyeshadows. I think this looks like a very cute palette, guys. I don't know the quality. But yeah. Um, mattes, you have mostly colorful mattes. And then the shimmers, you have one pink shimmer, one purple shimmer. And then a few of the more neutrally shades are shimmers. I actually would really like to try this one. Just saying. Um, let's see what, what everything retails for. So the palette retails for 25 bucks. Then you get, what's this? So let's see what everything retails for. Uh, so the palette retails for 25 bucks. Uh, there are three lip and uh, cheek duos. You get a peachy one. It's very cute, yeah. Uh, they retail for 18 bucks. You get a peachy one, a pink one, and a berry one. That pink one, that pink color looks very pretty. That berry one looks also very pretty. So I'm guessing it's a pot that you can put on your lips and then put top it with a gloss. I actually quite like the format. Um, then you also have a Do Bomb Face Gloss Stick for 12. I um, haven't been... Go back! I actually haven't been this excited about a Morphe release in a very long time. I really like this palette. I also would love to try one of the lip and cheek duos. Yeah, I uh, actually think this is really cute. Now, am I going to go out of my way to get it? I don't think so. Just because of the fact that I um, um, actually have three palettes that I need to... Uh, film with and review if the let me know if you would want me to review this palette if there are enough of you i will buy it yes because i do really like this and i am still i still really want to try morphe let me know your thoughts down below do you want me to review it do you not want me to review it let me know down in the comment section pretty please let's go to the next thing which is from Black Cosmetics, but it is spelled with a Q. So B-L-A-Q-E Cosmetics. This is uh, Juneteenth. I don't, I don't, I think that's a thing, but I, I'm sorry. I just don't know what kind of thing. I, I don't. So that's, I, I, again, I know it's a thing, but I don't really know what it is. Um, it, this is the uh, newest palette. I think it is uh, supposed to be a fist. I think that is the that is the form of the palette, yes. And I don't know what it will be called. Maybe if I go there. Oh, here I have a picture of the outside of the palette. So let me save that. Yeah, so it's it it is indeed a fist. So the outside and the inside I have here. Do I know? Uh, it says here, I created this palette to acknowledge and honor eight different influential black women in the cosmetic and beauty industry. These queens have made history. Uh, Marcia PJ, uh, Janelle uh, Commission, 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 I'm sorry, Madam J Walker, uh, Madam C J Walker, Christina Jenkins, Sarah Spencer Washington, Annie Malone, Eunice W. W. Johnson, and Beverly Johnson. It still says palette will be available soon. Happy Juneteenth, Queens, and Happy Pride Month. It's vegan and cruelty free. Um, I get it. I get the whole message behind it. So I'm not going to talk about the message. I'm just going to talk about the way the palette looks and the colors inside. Um... I think there could have, there is a bit too much empty space for me here. I think that if you were to have pushed around the pants a little bit more, you could have fit uh, maybe two, maybe even three extra shades in here. So that is, you know, I am not opposed to bulky packaging though, not at all. But I think that you could have put in one or two extra shades. So let's go to the color story then. I quite like the color story. Um, it looks to be that the colorful shadows are mattes then you have one brown matte and then you have a gold and a brown shimmer that is what it looks like on this picture and i actually quite like this color story i think it is pretty very pretty and i think that uh it because it is a black owned brand i think i i would love to see this on a darker skin tone because i think that the colors would really really pop 
Let me know if you have heard of Black Cosmetics. If you are excited. Uh, I will link the... Um, do they also have a store? I think so, yeah. I will link their website down below in the, co in the cosmetics box, really. In the description box. Let's go next to... Um, oh, wait. I'm still there. No, let's follow. Yes, let's follow. Okay. okay, let's next go to... I'm so very hot. Is that a brand? Probably. Sometimes you say something and then later hear what you said. Or am I the only one in that? Let's next go to this, which is from Park Avenue Cosmetics. It's the uh, Persephone palette. It is an 18 pen eyeshadow palette. Bright, beautiful shades inspired by Persephone, the goddess of spring. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. It's available for pre-order and it will retail for, say, 35 bucks. Uh, the pre-order will ship on the 25th. Oh, so that is already... That has already been and it has already officially released as well. Because I'm filming this on Saturday, the 26th. So it has released already. So let's see what it looks like. It looks cute. I don't know if there are glitters there or that the picture is glittery. So I don't know that. I do like the color story a lot. I don't know if there are shimmers in here or pressed glitters. Let's see. I see swatches here as well. Oh no... For the love of God, how many press glitters do you have there? I see three. I think it's four. Oh Lord, why? Let's. Uh, I will save this picture so you can see the swatches. Okay. So press glitter wise, I see one. Well, I see at least three, and I think that the white one that is in the corner, in the top corner, is also a press glitter. I am not sure though. Um, you can use code LOYALTY for 10% off of your first order. Uh, I have explained this before, but again, I know I have some new people, so let me explain it again. Because my eyes are deep set, they are also a bit older. The I'm 44. My eyeballs, uh, I unfortunately to say, are also 44 years old. <laughs> but... <laughs> Glitter I need to uh, use very, very low, otherwise it transfers up here. And unless that is the look I'm going for, it's not really a good look. Also, it gets into my eye fold and my eye fold folds back because I have deep set eyes. It kind of irritates, uh, especially if the particles are too big. And unfortunately, a lot of especially, well, I don't want to say cheaper brands, but indie brands or uh, the, the cheaper makeup brands... Makeup Revolution has chunky glitters that irritates my eyes. The one that I have from VE Cosmetics, those are okay. Still a little bit too big, but those are okay. Uh, the ones in the ABH palette are the finest that I have, and those are actually the best for me. Or I just uh, use a liquid uh, eyeshadow that has glitter flecks in it. I can use that as well. Um, but yeah, so it's not something that I use a lot. And then to have it uh, at least three shades in a brand that I don't know... Yeah, I, I won't get a palette like this. I, ju I just won't because there are a few shades that I won't use. And I think that is a shame. Again, especially for a brand I don't know the quality about because I have never ordered. I, I hope that makes sense. But it does look very, very pretty. Let me know down below if you are excited because I know a lot of you do really like pressed glitter. So yeah. Let's go to the next thing, which is a new release from Melt. Melt are on a roll as well, aren't they? Wow, they're almost... They're going very quickly. So this is the She's in Parties palette. It has launched already. No, it's not Saturday. It's Friday. I'm lying. It's Friday today. And it is launching today. Um, let's look at the color story. So the top part of the picture, I was when I saw that, I was like, oh, that looks really pretty. You know, a little bit more of the purple shades. And then when I see the picture underneath that, that you see it more of a flatter lay, it's more of a neutral palette. With some dustier pink shades. Now, if it would have been a quad, maybe. And then the bottom four shades. So, I... What are you doing? No. Go. I want you. Uh, I would have been more interested. Um, but I also know that Melt is very hit or miss. The last palette that I really, really wanted was... It got pretty bad reviews, so I'm actually glad that I didn't get it. Um, so yeah, I still really want to try Melt because they have some amazing color stories. 
but that pricing and then not knowing if I would like the formula and I'm just scared to order from them you know it's just mm. so yeah I um, did want to share this with you because um, yeah I do like especially the top I do like the colors that are in here let me know if you are excited maybe you do love the melt formula let me know down below I know that f I think it was the muerte and the um, I should know the other word, but I, I have a brain fog. Um, but that those two palettes were, were very good. And for the rest, yeah, I also really like the rust. I really, really liked their last palette that they put out in before this one. But yeah, it's just, no. So far, it's it's a no for me. Let's next go to this, which is the full flavored eyeshadow, the fully flavored eyeshadow palette from Andy, Cal Andy Candy Cosmetics. Uh, it will launch the 15th of July. It's an entire collection. And here you see the eyeshadow palette. Or at least I think it's an entire collection. Here's the eyeshadow palette. I like it. That's basically what I wanted to say. I like it. I like the fact that there are blues in here. But they, yeah, I, they're also a little bit off colors. I like it. Will I order this? I don't know. I don't think so. But I do really like the color story in this. And I know my friend Liora was very, very excited when she saw that this this palette. I will link her channel down below. Go check her out because she is just the sweetest. Go send her some love. Um, uh, it's called the, the Bell Andy Collection. Because it's a collaboration with uh, Diva Geek 85 on uh, Instagram. She's called... Isabella Lamoureux, 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 I don't know why I want to pronounce it like that. Let's let's put this one because this is a funny picture. So here you see them both together, Bellandi, the collection. I think it's fun. I think that the palette looks really, really cute. Yes. Okay, I have four things left. Is this the same brand? Let's see. Yeah, so I have four things left, but three brands. Let's start with this because I saw this and I was like, I want it. Is it, do I need it? No, but it is so cute. These are lash cases. I don't actually know if they come with the falsie. I think so. But how freakishly cute is this, guys? It's a little tiny suitcase for your falsie. Oh yeah, they come in a case. Yeah, okay. So I needed to check. The falsies come in a case. They retail for 15 bucks. It's just... The names are Carry On, Tripping On You, On in big letters, and then Winging It. That's the, is that the shade that I like the best? No. Uh, Winging It, Baggage Claim, and the shape that I like the best is called Window Seat. I really, really love this. Let's next go to the next thing that I have from them, which is an eyeshadow palette. Uh, Eiffel in Love palette. That is what it's called. Oh, it is a limited edition. I don't know if it is available already. I did see it, just see it online. Uh, she says here it's for beginners and experts. Uh, you get mattes, shimmers, three pressed glitters. Uh, and when this one sells out, she will not restock. So if you want it, I don't know if it is sold out as you are seeing this. I'm so sorry about that because, yeah, I cannot look into the future. So... There is that, but I will link it down below anyway. Uh, I think that the color story is cute. Again, same story, three press glitters, a brand I don't know about. But I do really like this color story. And that those falsy cases are just to die for. Okay, let's next go to uh, this, which is the Kylie collab with Kendall. It has launched already. Let's see if I can see. Yeah, here I have prices as well. So you get the you get a gloss for 18. Uh, you get that's called wait you get the everything everywhere gloss 18 bucks can i borrow that high gloss 16 bucks the sister sister lip lip blush lip kit 26 runaway blush stick 16 act natural bronzer stick also 16 spotlight kylite stick i think that's fun 18, the Blotting Powder Perfecting Balm is 24, the Candle Palette is 42, the Full Collection Bundle retails for 155, the Signed Collection PR Box, box for 310. So basically, um, uh, her, both of their signatures and cardboard is, is almost 150 bucks. 155, wow, It's a very expensive box. Just saying. But yeah, I, I do like what, what this collection looks like. I also like the eyeshadow palette. 
I know my friend Annette is actually really interested in this eyeshadow palette. So just saying, she did a video on, I will link her channel down below. She did a video uh, duping this out with her own collection and still wanting the palette. So yeah, that's basically, I can relate. I can, yeah, I can totally relate. I have never tried anything from uh, Kylie or Kendall or what they are all called. I've never tried anything, uh, Kim, uh, no, not yet. But I do like the way that everything looks. 42 uh, bucks for uh, this palette. Yeah, I don't know if it warrants the higher price point. Uh, let me know if you do know. Then let's go to the last thing, which is from the LBBC. And this is the Are You Lost Baby Girl eyeshadow palette. Uh, it has released already. It retails for 25 bucks. I don't know if there are, I think there are, apparently Press Glitter is back. I was hoping that it was kind of going away a bit. Um, but apparently not. Yeah, I think there are, I think the last row is press glitters, but I'm not sure. I don't know, and I actually wish that brands would just, um, put that in the description, you know? Also, yeah, I, I would have, I would have loved that, but I do really like the color story. Um... I think that the bottom row are pressed glitters. I think. I'm not sure. But I do think so. Um, and then, especially in a smaller palette, as I have said twice, um, I don't know the brand. I don't know the quality. I don't know, uh, you know, the trouble is, with especially with a new brand, I am not invested enough to buy a smaller palette and then have so many pressed glitters in there. Basically, so many shades that I don't use. Does that make any sense? If my... 5050 Makeup is a Dutch based indie brand. They are uh, one of my favorite brands. I have palettes from them that do have pressed glitters in them. Do I use them? No. Not a lot anyway. Uh, and they're not bad pressed glitters, especially in their Zephyr palette. Those pressed glitters are actually pretty good. Uh, but I don't use them. However, because I am so invested emotionally in that brand, I don't mind it. So if they were to bring out a palette like this, I would buy it. You know, they have just uh, released their nine pen summer palette. If there were pressed glitters in there, I would still have bought it because I, you know, I love that brand so much. And the same thing with uh, uh, Nomad Cosmetics. So, yeah, because I don't know the brand enough. I am, the, yeah, I hope that makes any sense, guys. Um, so, yeah, that's that's basically it. But I do really like this color story a lot. And, yeah, um, I love finding Indie brands as well. Uh, they are based in California. So that was it. I think that was everything that I had. Yeah, I probably missed stuff. But I wanted to film it now. Because I was in a filming mood. And I felt cute. And I wanted to show off my new wig. That's that's it. And uh, I, I should theoretically glued, have glued this to my head. Because it's actually a lace front wig. But I haven't because I want to be able to remove it easily. I do have wig glue. But I also think that I could use um, eyelash glue. I think I think that will work as well. And that is probably easier to get off. But yeah, this was it for me guys. This was it for Let's Talk Makeup number 91. During a heat wave. Oh, it's so warm in here. Uh, yeah, I, I, I lost my train of thought again. Because the train is still going quicker as I am today. That was the, the camera. Do not bomb the camera. I really need to stop. I need to go downstairs. I want watermelon. Yeah, I want to I want to share watermelon with my dog. And if my son is home, he can have some too. So that is going to be it for me today. Let me know down below if you know any of the brands. If you are excited. Um, if you think that I forgot any, please follow me. Fill, fo <laughs> if you thought that I forgot any, please follow me on Instagram. And the train just caught up with me. Good. Did you see? Yes. Uh, follow me on Instagram so you can tag me in what you find interesting and want me to talk about. That is going to be it for me today. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'm going to wish you a fantastic day, a fabulous evening. Stay safe, stay healthy, try to stay sane. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye guys.